Guys, if you want to stay at the forefront of effective hair loss treatments, then watching this video is a must. We have a very special topic for you today, electrotrichogenesis or ETG, which is the use of pulsed electric fields to promote hair growth and reverse male pattern baldness. Guys, make sure to stay tuned to the end where we'll be showing you exactly how to start using ETG entirely risk-free in your hair care regime. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. The treatment that we'll be covering today actually has the potential to be the next big thing in male pattern boldness. We're first going to learn what ETG is, we'll then look at how it works, we'll talk about some of the other uses for electricity outside of hair growth, we'll talk a bit about the history, obviously we'll cover the science behind of it, and then we'll talk about some of the benefits. Now this is really exciting stuff, just make sure to stay tuned to the end where I'll show you how you can start using ETG in your hair care regime totally risk free. So first guys, what is electrotrichogenesis? Well, for starters, let's see where the name comes from. Electrotrichogenesis is a combination of three Greek words. Electro, which means electricity, trico, which means hair, and genesis, which means growth. So the method is literally about using the biological effects of electricity to stimulate the growth of new hairs, and the primary application being targeted is male pattern boldness. The devices that are being studied and developed come in various shapes and sizes, but what they all have in common is that they come into contact with the scalp. The electricity is directly applied here, so that means that it is a topical treatment. So how on earth does ETG work? Now if you're not familiar with the field of medical devices, this might seem a little bit odd. You know, electricity is good for powering up gadgets and appliances like this camera and this computer screen, but as most of us have learned the hard way, when we come into direct contact with electricity, it can be pretty nasty. So ETG is all about electricity, but what's important is the voltage. Now in the US, for example, the household voltage that powers your television and fridge is 110 volts. Touch a live cable at these voltages and you're going to be in trouble. Now the difference is, is that devices that use electricity to treat various medical or cosmetic conditions, just like ETG, apply voltages that are hundreds, if not thousands of times lower than what you would get if you directly powered something through the socket. The voltages are so low that you don't even feel the electricity, but they are just the right intensity for the cells in our body to regenerate themselves in all sorts of ways. It's pretty interesting, right? So, where is electricity used other than for hair growth? Why do people start using ETG? Guys, I have to tell you that there is probably no other element of nature with as many applications in the world of medical devices as electricity. For example, there's a very commonly used class of devices that use electricity to treat pain, and they're called TENS devices, short for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. Other devices use electrical stimulation to treat muscular injuries or accelerate recovery times in bony fractures, as well as promote the healing of wounds. And guys, there are even medical devices that use tiny electrical currents for the treatment of depression, insomnia, and anxiety disorders. When you actually realize this, you do start to wonder what took researchers and device manufacturers so long to start looking into electrical stimulation for hair growth. So guys, let's have a quick look at the history of electrotrichogenesis. We find electrical stimulation first mentioned as a possible treatment for baldness in 1980, but it would be another 10 years until the first large-scale rigorous studies took place. The results of this study are very interesting. In a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, a team of Canadian scientists studied a group of 56 men with various stages of male pattern baldness. Some men were randomly assigned to receive a weekly treatment with an electrotrichogenesis device on their scalp, whereas the rest were randomly assigned to receive the so-called sham treatment. Now, in trials of medical devices, sham treatments are the equivalent of placebo pills. They are, quote, treatments that look like the real deal, but they really have no biological effect on the human body whatsoever. They're used to ensure that any beneficial effects obtained with the actual devices are due to the mechanism of action and not just the participants' auto-suggestion and belief in the treatment. So guys, in this study, the sham treatment was with an identical looking device as in the actual treatment device. However, the internal circuitry of the sham device had been severed. So even though the device was plugged in and the indicator light was blinking, the men in the sham treatment group were not receiving any electricity. But guys, since the electrical output of the functioning device was so low as to be non-perceptible anyways, there was absolutely no way for the participants to know if they were receiving the actual 
actual versus the sham treatment. All of the men in the trial had a one inch circular area of bold patch countered, once at the start of the study and once again after 36 months of treatment. Guys, are you ready for the results? Well, the men in the treatment group had a whopping 66% regrowth compared to 25% for the men in the sham treatment group. The researchers were particularly struck by the complete absence of side effects. Now, following these very encouraging results, the authors extended the study. So they allowed the men in the treatment group to continue past 36 weeks, and they also allowed the men in the sham treatment group to cross over into the treatment group. That meant that the men in the sham group could start receiving real treatments. Now, treatments continued for another 30 weeks and all the men who stayed on till the study's end continued to experience hair growth. This included the men who had received the real treatment from the start, but also those that switched from the sham treatment. So for men who were receiving the active treatment from the start, the average number of hairs in their measured bold patch went from 82 at the very start of the study to an incredible 276 at the end of the 30 week extension period. The men who had originally received the sham treatment entered the extension phase with an average hair count of 160, which rose to 249 at the end of the 30 week extension period. Aside from this large pioneering study, we find two more studies in the medical literature. One was with a small sample of about a dozen women who were losing their hair from chemotherapy treatment. And it found that electrical stimulation of the scalp actually helped them to keep their hair. Another study used both men and men with male pattern baldness and found that a combination of electrical scalp stimulation with essential oils resulted in a 23% increase in hair density after six months, compared to only 6% for participants in the sham treatment group. Now guys, we've linked to all of these studies in the description below. I do really urge you to check them out. They're very interesting. So guys, if this type of treatment goes mainstream, what are the potential benefits? What would users of this technology get out of it compared to some of the other treatments that are currently on the market? Well, guys, number one, for starters, all the evidence shows that it works, and it works very well at that, at least on par with currently available hair loss treatments, if not better. Number two is that there are no side effects. Zero, nothing. Compared to medications, you know, like finasteride, minoxidil, dutasteride, the advantage in this respect is night and day. Guys, number three, this is not complicated technology, so these devices won't cost a fortune to buy. They'll probably last a lifetime with little to no maintenance. And guys, at number four, even though we don't yet understand exactly how electrotrichogenesis works, whatever it does is it stimulates the follicle's own hair growth capacity, probably by extending the antigen growth phase of the hair. So even though it's an external device made of cold hard metal and plastic, it actually works with your body, not against it. Something which sadly is not the case for many treatments out there like finasteride, which basically works by throwing a spanner in your body's hormonal system. Now, I promised you one thing. If you watch the video to the end, I promised that I'd be sharing with you a way that you can start using ETG in your hair care regime, totally risk-free. Well, this product that you can see right now is called the Grow Comb. This is a hair guard patent pending technology, so you won't be able to get this product anywhere else. And because we were so excited about the results of the Grow Comb and ETG technology, we decided to extend our usual six month refund policy to 365 days on this product. You can simply order this product totally risk free right now by clicking the link in the description. Also guys, you'll be able to learn more about the amazing before and after results from using the Grow Comb, just like a man's three month results, reducing her center parting from 1.5 to 0.5 centimeters, and Kuang's three month results, where he had an approximate 65% overall increase in hair. We've also got Jeremy's three month results, where the boldness in his crown reduced from a diameter of 6 cm to 2.5 cm, with the center also regrowing new vellus hairs. And guys, if you want to learn more about other users of the Grow Comb, then click the link in the description. Again, it's totally risk-free to try. Let us know if you don't get results from the product and we'll issue with a 100% on-the-spot refund. Learn more by clicking the link in the description and order your Grow Comb risk-free and with free shipping. Guys, let us know about your thoughts about electrotrichogenesis in the comment section. And if you want to learn more about some of the real causes of male pattern boldness, then make sure to click the video on the screen right now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you.